Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bailey. Feel free to hit that subscribe button. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram for more content at Bailey M. Stewart. Today's video is a super exciting Buff Bunny review. Buff Bunny's new collection is a collab and they're collabing with Katherine Mueller. I'm so proud of her. She absolutely slayed this launch. The colors, the pieces, she did an absolutely amazing job. So huge shout out to Katherine. Go through all of the pieces. The drop is happening April 13th at 1 p.m. CST. I'll have all the time zones right here. Code Bailey will also save you 10% at checkout. I'll also have my link to shop in case you use reward points. You can just shop through my link, which does help support me as well. Don't forget to enter my monthly giveaway. Let's just get on into the review. So some of the pieces did end up getting pulled or are running late, so I wasn't able to receive them for this review. If they come in time, I will pop them in here. Um, but luckily I did model the bottom, so I have tried on most Actually, I think I've tried on everything, so I know what the shape seamless feel like. I know how I feel about them, um, so I'm still able to talk about everything. But I'm so sad that the yellow bottoms got pulled. <laughs> I was gutted because though that was my favorite color. I love the pink, but that like the yellow just I don't. I feel like a lot of brands don't do yellows, and I understand why. Like they run sheer and that's unfortunately what was happening is the legacy shorts in yellow were running sheer super bummed um i don't know based off the because i did try them on and i don't feel like they were that sheer but obviously but funny has to do quality control you know they don't want to release something that has been that is super sheer but at the same time the bbl chamomile came out so I don't know. I feel like I'd rather have the option, like knowing it's sheer, still having the option to buy it if I want it. That's just me. Because I'm used to like Alpha Elite Citrus Frost or Alpha Elite Lemonade Sheer. All the colors are inspired, I believe, by Taylor Swift albums or songs. I'm not a Swifty, so I'm not 100% sure. I know Catherine is a Swifty, so I like that she incorporated that into her collab. Colors are Lover Pink, Afterglow Yellow, Blue Bubbles lavender haze enchanted teal and then we have some neutrals the cold brew onyx black bone white and then black bossy jacquard print and then the fabrics we have seamless which is 57 percent nylon 35 percent polyester eight percent spandex so this is new bbl quality like it's a new fabric because as we know the bbl seamless were just running so sheer i feel like the material was quite Thin. have butter coming back in 81% nylon, 19% spandex. Buff Bunny Butter is definitely hands down my favorite fabric they have. And then we have the classic Nubri, 74% nylon, 26% spandex. Double brush soft feel. Then we have the Knit Jacquard, 95% polyester, 5% spandex. I did not like this. I tried on, I think it was, it was either a small or a medium. I just was not a fan of that material, to be honest. It was very scratchy, especially when on, and just was not a fan. And then we have French Terry, 57% viscose, 38% cotton, 5% spandex, super soft and stretchy. So those are all the colors and fabrics dropping in her collection. Four leggings and then a flare and then one short. But we will start with the Micro Legacy Legging and this is Newbury Fabric. 74% nylon, 26% spandex and it's coming in onyx black, enchanted teal and lavender haze. And I did get this in the lavender haze color. Now the Micro Legacy is a little bit shorter than the normal legacy it's full length to 26 inseam so this is the normal legacy it's butterfly back seams are much more spaced apart than the new micro the v dip is also it goes a little bit lower and it comes down a little bit more to a point than in the normal legacy high rise so it's a little bit shorter than the normal legacy which i prefer because the legacy are way too high on me i don't like anything ultra high rise to be honest i just have a short torso so it doesn't work for me i will say these still slide like my le normal legacy so working out i do have to kind of keep pulling up i still find this to be one of the lowest compression leggings they have and i feel like they always rank the legacy like high but for me even in an extra small it's 
very low compression. I do really like this color. Now, obviously the lighter colors, this is with any brand, almost any legging are going to be a tad bit more sheer. But this, I would still say you can easily do legs in, have no issue. Wear new thong, you're not gonna see anything. So I wouldn't stress doing legs in this color, to be honest, but we'll still do the sticker test. And then the logo is a th actually a 3D silicone, whereas this one, my Barista Blue, is not. It's like just printed on there. So that's a new little added detail. Really micro legacy leggings in lavender haze, and then you can see how it looks with bubbles. Again, I'm just, I'm not a fan of the legacy leggings. Like, there's just so much extra fabric, even an extra small at the waist. There's no compression, no tummy control. So if I don't work out in these, they're just not one of my favorites. So, but I know I've done it before and I know I just know that these would not stay put throughout your workout. You would have to consistently keep pulling up the waist. So I'm just not a fan of these, but I know a lot of people love Legacy. It's literally a bestseller. Prince is the smaller butterfly seams in the back. Again, I pull it in the cheeks, but it's just still not a flattering legging in my opinion. Like it doesn't make the glutes look good at all. And then I just get so much extra fabric. If you have a tattoo, you're still probably gonna see it. But with new thong, you're gonna be okay. Like I feel like you could definitely confidently do legs in these. but the waistband is going to be sliding. <laughs> I just, it, my belly button is like right here and this, I just have a short torso so it just, it never works for me, but I do absolutely love this color. Right, and then we have the Candid Crossed Waist in Onyx Black Cold Brew Lover Pink in Butter Fabric, 26 full length inseam, light compression, high rise, soft V front waist, glute contouring back waistband detail, Flat elastic sewn in back rise to separate the glutes, no front seam. So I got the Lover Pink. When I tried this on um, to shoot bottoms, this was hands down my favorite leggings. Like I honestly kind of like these better than the Curve. One, I love butter, but I just love the crossover waistband. I honestly feel like this stays put, like this waistband stays put much better than my Curve. I'll pop in measurements, but I believe the rise is the same as like the the butt like butter curve. It's got a shorter back seam, so it shapes really nicely. It snatches me a lot better than curve too. I love this pink. I love the low glute seam. You can really get it in the cheeks or wear it out if you don't like it that way. I would comfortably do legs in this, but I will say it didn't really pass a sticker test, but I don't think it's like something where you're like, oh my gosh, I can't even wear it. Like, like less sheer than some of Alpha Leads at all. Butter is literally exactly how it sounds, buttery smooth. Um, I don't get CT in this, but I do get the V. Um, there is, yeah, definitely a little crotch room, so keep that in mind. And then the front waistband kind of comes to a point. So here is the Alaska curve to the new Lover's Pink candid crossways so as you can see the waistband is smaller but i actually like that because i think it helps it stay put better because i don't have to readjust this waistband nearly as much as my butter curve so i personally like it like this one much better but i will note that you have more crotch room in the curve than in this new candid crossover so if you get ct in these you will definitely probably get ct in the new ones the dip in the back and the shorter seam butter is a more delicate fabric so it can pill so definitely wash inside out on delicate and i wouldn't put in the dryer and if you're at the gym just be a little more cautious like i probably this is a pair of this is a fabric that i definitely wouldn't sit on like the turf at the gym because it it will definitely pill but I, st I still love butter. I like these better than the curve, so I hope this is a style that comes back more. So I would say for this, if in between, I would say to size up. This is a hidden scrunch. The only hidden scrunch that I've like seen is the Paragon one. And I feel like even then it had kind of like ruching. This one does not. Inside, it's got this like white thick added seam i guess that helped like elastic i guess that helps go in the cheeks better again another reason why it probably is more flattering than the butter curve but i do like that detail i know Catherine loves a hidden scrunch so i love that she added that into these so here are the crossover candid waist leggings 
in the Lover's Pink. Um, I paired with also the yellow, super dang cute. This band feels definitely more compressive and is more fitted than in the Butter Curve. I like this waistband so much more. I don't have to keep readjusting as much as my curve leggings, like pulling it up when like working out in, like even when squatting and stuff, it stays pretty good. Um, sometimes you might just have to kind of fix the crossover waist. Um, color is slightly sheer, but it's not sheer to the point where you're like, oh my gosh, I can't wear this. I'm wearing blue underwear underneath to like show, uh, but with a nude thong, you're gonna be fine in this color. Again, it's that buttery, soft fabric. I do feel like the Barbie crotch is a little severe in these. And the butter curve has a little bit more room in the crotch area than in these. But it's not uncomfortable. It's not like the Dream Heather. Got the hidden scrunch, and you can easily pull the fabrics in the cheeks. And if you don't wanna do that, you don't have to either. I just prefer that look. And I like that the seam has like slightly darker pink i feel like it gives a little bit of contrast again it comes to a point the 3d silicone logo um you can slightly see cellulite in this color it doesn't personally bother me but i just wanted to let you guys know the purple the lavender haze and the lollipop you definitely can you can slightly see the sticker but again so if you have a tattoo you'll probably see it in these but again i don't feel like this isn't even as sheer as like my bbl seamless so i personally would recommend like it doesn't feel abnormally sheer compared to like other brands i'm a fan i would spend my own money on these and again we'll do the squat test but see like the waistband is just staying put so dang well especially compared to the curve inseam is 26 it's quite stretchy so you can make it longer so if you're tall i definitely wouldn't worry about it being too short and then we have the Contour Pocket Flare in Onyx Black and Cold Brew. Three inseam length offered, love that. So we've got short, regular, and tall. Newbury fabric, so the inseams for short is 30, regular is 32, and tall is 34. Medium compression, high rise, soft V front waist, glute contouring, waistband detail, side pockets, and no front rise seams. So I got these in Cold Brew. I love the contour pocket leggings. So I was so excited that we now have a flare. I love anything flare. If it's flare, give it to me. And I like that it has pockets. I'm, I'm very happy she brought these out. I do wish it came in like the brighter colors, but I guess it's good for the girlies who prefer neutrals. Like the Lemon All The Right Places pant waistband where it's got the seams up here, kind of like the curve waistband as well, but it's in that Nubri fabric so it's, more of like a soft brushed feel than like the butter. It's also, I feel like a little bit thicker than butter. I would say waistband compression is roughly the same as my Foxy flares, but you've got pockets on the side and then the back kind of comes down to a dip. It is longer inseam than like my curve. And then the flare, cause I know um, Catherine talks about this a lot is like her Flare, she hates when like flares are tight around the calves, so you will not have that issue in these. So if you're similar to that, these definitely do not feel snug around the calf at all. If you have the Alpha Elite Aura flares, these are definitely more aggressive, I would say, like flare-wise. I feel like Rise is quite similar. Um, these are, I would say, a little bit more compressive than the Aura. Like these, I again, just wish they came in brighter colors. I feel like I just personally wear brighter bottoms these are definitely true to size whatever size you get in other buff bunny flares you can definitely stick to in these yeah so it starts to come out right at the knees that way it's not snug on the calves again you've got pockets on both sides which i really like i love cold brew paired with bone and it's cut it comes a little bit past my belly button so it is high rise waistband i feel like stays up pretty well like it's definitely got more compression than awfully aura flares but i would say it's roughly the same as like the foxy flares fit feels the same whatever size you get in foxy flares i think you can stick to in these it's got good stretch i'm five four i got the regular and the regular is perfect i don't feel like i need to get a tall and it hits exactly where i want my flares to hit these definitely are squat proof i mean not that like People would probably work out in these, but they're not gonna be sheer. So I kind of honestly like these better than my Foxy Flares because of the pocket detail. 
Yeah. And then we've got the Shape Seamless, which I freaking love and I really hope we get our hands on because I'll pop in photos because again, I did model the bottoms and I did take some like BTS pics for Instagram in the Enchanted Teal Chef's Kiss. A beautiful, I normally don't gravitate again to dark bottoms, but these make your glutes look so good even in darker shades. I like these so much better than the BBL Seamless. The BBL Seamless back dips down, whereas this new one goes straight across. And at first you're kind of like, mm, that's actually gonna do the opposite of my glutes. But no, it is very flattering. And I believe she said, I can't remember exactly, I should have taken close up pics, but there was like contouring above the glutes rather than under. So there is no smile lines in these, which I'm so happy about because I do not like that detail in the BBL Seamless because they just go completely sheer on me. We don't have that detail. Shape Seamless. The seamless material feels a lot more durable, feels so much better than the BBL. It also feels a little bit, I would say thicker. It's still very stretchy. The fit, I would say, reminds me more of the old BBL, which I love. I have a lot more crotch room. I feel like it hits higher up and the waistband snatches me a lot better. It feels more true to size, whereas in the BBL, I'm in this weird, like awkward in-between size. I asked for the cold brew and enchanted teal and I really hope they come. And then we have the Rosa Jacquard, black bossy print Jacquard, um, stretch knit fabric, full length, light to medium compression. This is, or these are ultra high rise, glute contouring back waistband detail, no front rise seams. Again, did not like these. This the glute seam came way too high on my glutes, like was not a fan. The material was scratchy and itchy and just, not like their other bossy print in my opinion so i i remember putting it and even just feeling it i was like oh i just wasn't a fan i'm sorry i just didn't like the fabric yeah so i didn't get those but i did try them on because i shot the bottoms and i just was not a fan personally right and then we have the micro legacy six inch shorts onyx black lovers pink and lavender haze newbury fabric the inseam is six Soft V front waist, glute contouring, back waistband detail, and then no front rise seams. Newer design than the normal Legacy. Side by side, because I have my barista blue right here. So this is back detail. Again, it's also shorter rise. Again, the double line waistband comes down. I really like the Legacy six inch. I'm not, again, really a big fan of like the leggings or the four short four and a half shorts so comfy to just run errands even work out and i feel like they stay put a little bit better than the leggings and i feel like they're more flattering on the glutes because they're bakers and really 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 bummed we didn't get any afterglow or bubbles bottoms these six inch micro legacy shorts in lavender haze i just feel like the six inch feel a little bit more snug than my leggings so i prefer these so much more they're still obviously not as flattering as like a scrunch short or, yeah but they're very comfy to lounge in like i know my glutes don't want that good in these but hey they're freaking comfy sheerness i would say is the same as the leggings but as you can see like these are just so much more flattering than the leggings Something about bikers just will forever have my heart because they make the glutes look so much better. So getting a little bit of loose fabric up here because it just comes way past my glutes. 
So that's my main issue with these. But again, it's got these smaller seam detail right here. So when working out, I do have to kind of readjust. I wish they'd do like a seven. Oh, I would love a seven because then I feel like it really wouldn't move. It doesn't roll too bad, but it definitely does slightly roll. Not as bad as like the four and a half. I mean, I don't get any camel knees. I don't even get really that bad of like V or like Barbie crotch. We'll move into tops. So we have the Catalina Jacquard sports bra, and I believe I did try that on for the pictures, but I believe it was in the wrong size. So I couldn't really accurately give my opinion because I wasn't wearing the right size. So it was just like way too baggy. And I just was not, I was not feeling it, didn't like it, but it's the same material, midline length, medium to high support, high neckline, clasp at center back neck, open back, straps can be positioned as desired and has removable bust pads. Candy wrap in lavender haze, cold brew, lover's pink, and blue bubbles, and a long line, medium to high support, wrap front detail, V neckline, removable cups, and then no fit changes have been made. I love the candy wrap bra. It's definitely one of my top buff bunny bras. It's higher support. Um, this is my party purple one, but this is what it looks like. I didn't get any of the new colors because I wanted to try out the new version of like the high neck. The front, I would say you can size up in this if you're in between because it is quite snug, but I do like that the straps are adjustable. They're these thick elastic bands and then they cross over in the back and it's just got that wrap detail it's new brief fabric removable cups and then we have the new one which is the candy crew so it's high neck it comes in onyx black lavender haze and afterglow yellow long line medium to high support wrap front detail high neck adjustable straps removable pads so very again very similar the only difference is now that they have a high high neck detail so for the btc the girlies that want more coverage so again it's quite high neck but then has the same crossover detail and then the thick elastic straps in the back removable cups the silicone 3d logo this is definitely comfortable i like that we now have like an option for like because sometimes i feel like the candy wrap can be a little much because like it just like really pushes everything up it'd be like up to my chin <laughs> so i like that we have an option if we're not feeling that cleavage moment and this is very comfy i would say true to size like it's, it doesn't feel as snug to me as my other one um but i still think if in between size up versus down in this bra it comes high neck and then it kind of cuts in here um, if you are larger up top, you might get a little bit of like side boob. And then again, you've got the twist layer right here. It has removable cups. It's got a seam going down right here. And again, the back has the crossover straps that are adjustable. For me, this is like high, very high support. Very high support because uh, nothing is moving in this. It's kind of similar to the curve bra, like high neck wise. And definitely think I prefer the curve over this. And I think I prefer the normal candy wrap bra over this one. I just personally like a little bit more of a cleavage moment. But again, I like that we now have, have an option that has more coverage for people who don't want the like... Because the, the normal candy wrap definitely gives you like lift. I like how inclusive Catherine was with these pieces. We have the Twisted Curve Bra in Onyx Black Enchanted Teal and Cold Brew. So the outside is a new brief fabric. Short line, light to medium support. Twist front detail, close back for more support and armhole coverage. More bust coverage than Twisted Sports Bra. And it's got built-in molded bust pads. Got the Enchanted Teal. Normally a molded cup get, like bra gal because I genuinely have like nothing up top so it always looks a little bit odd on me or like I can't fill it out. But I will say when trying on, like I actually did really like this. I feel like it gave me cleavage surprisingly. But again, the cups are quite big for my little boobs, but I feel like it's still flattering and it is quite comfortable. Like the back comes up high, but you've got the little front twist front detail and then again the cups are molded and then the back 
just looks like this. So it has really good coverage with it and like this color and oh, such a pretty color combo. So here is the molded bra and I got an extra small. Right here is quite tight, like it kind of hurts. I also feel like I don't have enough boobs to fill out like right here, like the bottom of it, um, but it is, like even though it's tight right here, the rest is very comfortable. Like the straps don't feel too big. I'm still getting like cleavage. Just It's just this right here, like this twist is kind of like a little snug and kind of like feels like it's digging in. Right here is kind of snug as well. It's Nubri fabric. It's got these seams right here, again in molded cups. And then the back has, kind of looks like a tank, so it's good back coverage. This area is comfy, it doesn't feel like it's too tight or digging in. Definitely in place, I would definitely say this medium and high support. For me, it's very high support. I'd comfortably do a super intense workout and literally nothing would move. <laughs> And then we have the Twisted Sports Bra, Onyx Black Afterglow Yellow and Bone, Nubri Fabric, Short Line, Light to Medium Support, Twist twist Front Detail, Scoop Open Back, Removable Bust Pads, Fit Updated to Secure Shoulder Strap. So I'm so happy they made this tweak. I stuck with my extra small, fits great, and the straps stay up so much better now, and I need to find my old ones, I, but um, the straps have been shortened, and I feel like they stay put so much better. That was my biggest like complaint with this bra, is like the straps just did not stay, so I preferred the one with the strap in the back that goes across. It has removable cups, and I just love this yellow. Nubri fabric. The main difference is that it just, the straps stay up better. It's still low support. I feel like right here is kind of like gaping now. Um, so that's a little annoying, but it is what it is. At least it fits better than the other one. I still really like this bra, but I think I'm still more of the, what is it? The double twist where it's got the strap in the back that stays put perfectly but i do feel like this one i feel like i have more coverage right here than that bra also i love this yellow um again i wish we would have gotten bottoms but i do like the fit like i do like the new fit so much better so if that was an issue you had last time with this bra and you want to try it again just know that it has been tweaked um, but i do feel like it's still a little too big for me <laughs> but again i feel like straps always I always have that issue with straps, but I feel like for, that's why I like, I wish they would have done like adjustable straps. Um, Cause again, I'm just like, I'm getting gaping on this. Well, for some reason, just this side. So I don't understand why. And it's kind of like pulling this strap down. So I, I do have to keep pulling up this side, but again, not nearly as bad as the one from Naked. And then we have the Halter Seamless Sports Bra in black cold brew afterglow yellow lovers pink blue bubbles enchanted teal and this is a seamless fabric so it's a seamless bra short to midline light to medium support sweetheart neckline scrunch center front neckline inverted v front hemline removable and adjustable center back strap and it has removable cups first when i saw the strap in the back i didn't realize it was a, like removable and i was like mm, i don't like that because i have ptsd from the alpha elite one that one hurt so bad like i physically couldn't wear that bra because it would leave me in so much pain because of it but i like that it is removable so it can be a cute little seamless halter that's usually how i wear this i I love this color so much. Such a pretty blue that you can pair monochromatically with so many other shades. Um, it honestly is very similar to like the Alpha Leap bras, to be honest. It's got the scrunch right here and then kind of comes up and then a thicker band down here. It's still low medium support. They, if in between, you can size up in this bra, like if you want a little bit more room right here or right here. I worked out in this, I did upper body, and I will say the longer you wear it, the strap does start to irritate you and you're kind of like, oh, it feels like it gives you like a neck ache. Again, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like if it were too loose or if it was loosened, then it would just come too low. So I don't know, I think it's just maybe like, the material i get this a lot with halters it just kind of like so it did slightly irritate during my workout but again i feel like if it were loosened 
then this would come too low because it's a quite stretchy fabric. So I don't know, but I still like that I'd still continue to work out in it. I just know that it's gotta be a shorter workout. Um, it's not something I can wear all day because it will start to irritate my neck. Fuck, super cute. Nothing is digging into my armpit. It doesn't feel too wide. I'm very happy about that. Normally, sometimes the bras are way too wide and I end up getting more coverage in my armpit than my actual boob. So I do like how it fits right here. The Buttercup Sports Bra, which reminds me of the Bloom Top. On its black, white, cold brew, and lover's pink, it's butter fabric, it's short line, light support, ruched center front detail, soft V neckline, and inverted V hem, adjustable shoulder straps, and removable bust pads. So it kind of is, again, from the front, I feel like reminds me the most of the Bloom bra. It's got that seam, ruched seam right here. It does have removable pads. It's got like a thin little band at the bottom and then right here as well and then these straps are adjustable and then they just go straight back and then you've got these like crossover straps right here i would say it's true to size i'm wearing my normal size extra small i don't feel like i need to size up or down it is very comfy it doesn't feel too wide it's not digging in anywhere i'm not having any gaping uh uh, yeah, I love the fit of this. There's really nothing I would really change about this. This is definitely a bra I would want to buy in more colors. I've got good coverage while still getting a little bit of cleavage, so I don't feel like flat as a board. And I just think it's so pretty and dainty, and this color I can mix and match with literally any pink. Normally with like bras like this, it, it's too wide, it digs into my armpits, and I love that I am finally not having this issue. Um, yeah, I'm very, very happy with this bra. And I like, again, anything adjustable straps makes me happy because I like being able to adjust stuff and make it tighter or more loose if I want. I also feel like it helps fit more people better. And then we have the Karma Crop in Onyx Black and Bone. And I love that there are two length options. Uh, I feel like a lot of brands don't have different crop length options, so I love that Catherine added that detail. And I, I didn't realize that I got, I guess, wait, did I get, well, honestly, I'm confused. So I could have sworn I got the regular, but mine's quite short, so I feel like I didn't. I don't know, I'm gonna have to clarify with that because now I'm confused reading. Okay, so they accidentally mislabeled the PDF, so everyone who wanted the longer length accidentally got sent to the short one, because there is no short, there's only regular and tall, so everyone asked for the regular, which was the shorter option, so unfortunately I have the short, but I do prefer the long, and so when you look at the PDF, like this screenshot right here, it's going to say short, but it's actually regular and then tall. As I tried this on with actually a bottom that wasn't launching, I think it's coming later. And with this Bone Karma top, I don't remember what link they had me model. I'm assuming regular. I don't know what it is, but I'm just obsessed with wearing like longer line tops where it hits right at where the waistband of a legging starts. And then it almost kind of looks like you're wearing like a seamless one piece set. I friggin' love that look, and that's exactly what I was getting with the Karma Crop and the flares at the time, and I just, I was obsessed, so I'm like counting down the days when those seamless flares drop, because <laughs> I want to pair this with it, or you could get the black and do it with the black contour pocket flares and still get that same look, because they're both Nubri fabric. Light support, soft V neckline with light ruching at CF. Center front, center fold. <laughs> I'm gonna say center front, that's what I'm gonna go with. Shaping princess seam lines, period. Center back strap, ballet inspired back detail, shelf liner, love. And then removable bust pads. I love a shelf liner. I feel like some people don't like it. I like it. It adds more support. It makes it more supportive. So I just, yeah, I like that detail in longer line tops. But this again reminds me of this one, like the Bloom, but in a 
tank it has like the ruching and then you've got seams kind of coming down here i just love the detailing on this and then this is the back detail not adjustable here is the karma top i believe this is regular again i feel like it's not very clear i got an extra small i don't remember it fitting like this when i was shooting like at one i also feel like it was a little bit longer but two i'm getting gaping and the straps are too long so i'm not i swear i didn't have this issue and then the straps aren't tight enough so it's just like literally gaping like if i go like this i can see straight through it so i feel like this should have come in a little bit more i just think the straps being tighter or this coming in more would have helped it's a very flattering cut like beautiful i'm still gonna wear it i just will probably have to keep pulling it up the back looks like this again it's got crossover detail i wish these straps were adjustable i think that would have helped so much we have a long sleeve so it is called the long sleeve butter crop and it's a butter fabric you guys know i'm a hope for some butter in white and black i would have loved to have seen this in the bright colors like the lover's pink the lavender haze or the yellow length in a medium is 14 um, cropped length light support square neckline i love a square neckline a built-in shelf love that detail liner slash removable bust pads and it has thumb holes i love thumb holes love a square neckline love a shelf bra with removable cups love a crop long sleeve so i got it in white like, on like and i like that it has a little bit more coverage i guess i am quite used to the crop shop boutique one so it's really short i got again got the elastic band and then the cups right here so it has a little bit more support you can get so many uses out of a top like this like you could literally wear it out to the club with a skirt and some heels with jeans some boots casual with some leggings workout top like the options are literally endless with the top like this and i'm so so happy buff bunny did a style like this and if you like it so much you can get the white and then dye it in more colors long sleeve top it fits really nice like it's definitely better than the crop shop boutique one the crop shop boutique one when i raise my arms this completely goes up and the gaping is also the same so i do feel like this one is better i would say the crop shop boutique one's probably shorter like that so if you like a longer option the buff bunny one is definitely the way to go it's the back it's just very simple raising your arms this part does kind of raise then we have my favorite activewear dress they have ever done Shout out to Catherine. So I didn't realize Catherine did ballet and I thought that was such a cool little fun fact to learn. Um, and this is definitely like giving ballet vibes. And I remember saying that in the shoot and they were like, yeah, Catherine used to do ballet. And I was like, oh, really? And I was like, that explains it so much. Like I got extra small. I would say it's true to size. I got the long length because I did try on the short and I'll pop in a photo right here um, at the shoot in the short like you could see the under layer or was it regular and tall i don't know but the regular short whatever it was was way too short like i personally i guess if you did ballet and stuff it would be absolutely fine but like wearing out to like run errands or hot girl walk i feel like it would be a little too short i'm 5'4 for reference and you could see the under layer like the shorts underneath so i did go with the tall so i could wear it out and about in public and not feel like i'm getting stared at so it hits perfectly um i believe this is 16 but i like that these straps are adjustable i love the neckline and i just love that it like it's fitted right here and then again it comes out so it shapes the waist so nicely this is definitely probably in my opinion the most flattering activewear dress buff bunny has done and it's very very comfy so it's like straight neckline and then again thick straps in the back that you can tighten that cross over and then you've got this little open detail removable cups and then they've got the kind of like bone seams down here which i feel like just give the illusion of your waist going in and then the flowy um flowy skirt it's a slicker stretchy fabric is fabric so it's a nylon spandex blend so yeah so it's short and regular so the short is 14 inches from waist waist grade and that's from a medium and then regular is 16 and a half so that's what i got i got the longer version um short liner with side pockets adjustable shoulder straps removable cups shaping princess seam detail genuinely 
just a beautiful activewear dress. And again, you've got shorts on underneath that have pockets, so you don't have to worry about if the wind blows or you bend over or if you're doing ballet in this and you raise your legs, like nothing, they're not gonna see nothing. An extra small long, like it's just so dang cute. Like it's, and it just shapes so well cause it comes in and then comes out at the waist. So it makes your waist look quite snatched. And it's just like a cute little, like you've got pockets on the side. If the wind blows, you know, nothing showing, run errands, do ballet. Run some more errands. You could even pair wear this to the club with some cute heels. Maybe that's pushing it. No. <laughs> um, one thing that I am noticing is that right here is lifting up, like the seam. It's not laying flat. The open back right here, and the long fits perfect. I feel perfectly covered. Whereas the short, you would definitely see the under layer, which I, that's why I went with the tall. Yeah, I hope they bring this style back in like fun, vibrant colors. Then we have an, a mini game changer tote in onyx black and bone. And I did get the mini one and I got it in bone. It's smooth vegan leather. Body is eight, strap is 52, fully extended, removable and adjustable shoulder strap, outer foam pocket, color matched hardware and branding, inside zipper pocket and inside card pocket. So we've got the handle, the zipper, which is the same color. I really like the new minimal detail they do, the Buff Bunny logo, and then the back is just a simple, sleek design. We've got your shoulder straps that you can attach right here. What is it? They said, yeah, your phone. I don't know if my phone would honestly fit here, but you can put something in here. My finger's stuck. <laughs> and then you've got an inside zip pocket. I definitely think you can fit quite a bit in this. Um, I kind of want the big one too, just because I feel like I'm so used to having a big bag because I got a lot of junk that I always carry around. <laughs> um, but this is still very cute. Fits my, it could fit your vlog camera, fit your phone, fit your wallet, everything you need. Well, I guess if you vlog, but for me, that's usually what I put in here, but I really like the big one as well. Clean, simple, sleek design. And it feels like really good quality. Right, we're gonna quickly do some quick color comparisons. I don't have that many Buff Bunny color. So we'll do Bubbles and Enchanted Teal to blue, like to other Buff Bunny blues. So we've got Bubbles to Alaska, super cute color. Like I would definitely pair these together. Do Barista Blue, again, another color that I think is so dang cute together. We have Moody Blue to Bubbles. Rainwater blue to bubbles. H2O blue to bubbles, which again, I think is a nice color combo. Aqua dream to bubbles. Remember the name of this one? It's old. It's from that 70s, I think, or no. Actually, I don't know. I have a link down below, but it's like the foxy top. Then to Nile. This is Nebula. Then Enchanted Teal to Alaska. Nebula, Nile, Dagnar. <laughs> Aqua Dreams, H2O, Barista Blue, Rainwater Blue, Moody Blue. Now we'll do the Lavender Haze, Vanity, super cute color combo. And then Lotus, Eggplant, Party Purple. Yeah, another cute color combo. Lavender Haze is one of those purples that goes with pretty much any other purple. A pink. So I believe this is, this is Lover's Pink to Pink Lights. The Vinyl Pink from Dream House. What color are you? I believe this is the Candy Rush color. I'll have it on the screen. Super cute color combo. I remember this is from Dream House as well, but it's like the reversible bra. And then this one is from Secrets in the Sand. But I can't remember the name. The Pink Mesh Jacket. Terracotta. Another cute combo. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't remember Don't remember her, but I'll try and find it Bossy print code Bailey will save 10% at order I also have my, my link to shop down below to still support if you want to use your points Again drop is happening April 13th at 1 p.m. CST I'll have all the time zones right here So you don't miss out if you do use my code make sure to screenshot so I can personally thank you and that way you can enter my monthly giveaway 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions about this drop, feel free to comment them down below and I'll try my best to get back to you guys ASAP. But I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.